talking about Muay Thai clinch, also one of my very, very fair positions. I, I know, obviously, you're, you're a Thai guy, so I'm sure that you believe in, in the Thai clinch. Um, that being said, truly still underused and underrated in the UFC. Guys just don't go to it enough. It's so effective. I use it for several different things. I use it for offense, but I definitely use it even more so for defense. Especially if I get a world-class wrestler, because this is technically stalling in wrestling, they're not used to this. I bring those elbows in, I drop down. Now he is now going to try to shoot on me. He's got no option to shoot. I can work my sidestep uppercut. So, tight clinch, under, underused, underrated. That being said, tight clinch on the, on the cage. Basic tight clinch, back of the head. Elbows are pinched in. One of my simple ways to break him down on the cage is I'll just angle my feet here, I'm gonna go inside knee, boop, and I hop. So it's kind of like a little bunny hop. So I kind of angle here. As I hit that knee, I go whoop, whoop, give him a spot to fall into. Now, from here, I'm gonna go to my chin strap. I'm gonna actually cuff the chin. I keep hunched over. This hand rolls over, it's gonna grab my pinky. Now, so my arms look like this. MMA, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. I'm actually gonna take these two fingers, I'm gonna hook them inside my glove here, and I'm gonna lock it. So I wrap my right inside my glove and I lock it, and that grip is unbreakable. So once I'm here, I get that chin in here. He's already naturally bending a little bit, elbows pinched in so he can't turn out. I'm gonna push, keep hunched over, I'm gonna push my hips in. Now, out, out in the open, and much easier, by the way, if, if I get this choke, I can't finish the guy, I'll just walk him backwards, walk him backwards into the cage, and now, super easy to finish against any barrier.